An elderly sister and brother are struggling to save an important part of Henderson County history. News 13 Cheryl Barber has more about the help that they need to save a church built by freed slaves. It all started here at the end of the Civil War when freed slaves began worshiping here and then built this church. It took them 25 years to raise $50 to buy this property. Nellie Logan Mooney rakes weeds out of the cemetery at Logan Community Chapel in Horseshoe. She's working to keep the grounds neat and clean while her brother Fred Logan digs a drainage ditch around the chapel's foundation. He's 90 years old, she's 77, but together they're trying to restore a church founded by their great-great-grandfather. Well, I don't feel my age. I'm happy to be alive and I'm uh, proud that I can do it. So we had to get some piping to pump the water away to keep it from going back into the kitchen. And um, so that's what we're doing today. And while he was do cementing up the holes and putting the pipe down, I was digging the weeds out of my parents' grave. This tireless work is to preserve a church nearly a century and a half old. It was formerly called Shaw's Creek AME Zion Church, but it now bears the name of the founders. Inside, the cross is made from the flooring of the original building. Now the chapel needs attention to keep out the weather. It's leaking. It needs a roof. The ceiling is falling down, and I'm afraid if we have any kind of meeting that it could be disaster, that it would come down on some of the people, you know. Nellie and Fred have preserved the history of the church with a scrapbook reaching back into its roots in America's Reconstruction. Now the historic building needs some reconstruction of its own. Recently, the chapel's fellowship hall flooded, and Fred has come to the rescue with a mattock and a powerful swing. This is a, a historic place. And we want to try to preserve it for the, the future to come. So we're leaving it, you know, try to leave it where they know where their ancestors came from. We're not going to be around forever. And then who's going to take over, as you see, is in bad shape now. That I would like to see it be a historian church. Nellie and Fred are working to form a nonprofit organization to support the future of the church. They hope to have it in place in time for a homecoming gathering in September. Reporting in Henderson County, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.